welcome back to Crochet Creations and Addictions number 107. Not a huge, huge video today, but got a little smile mail to show you. So I figured I probably should make a video. <laughs> Anywho, grab a cup and join me. And I have regular coffee with, uh, you know, the little hazelnut in there. Just a quick one. What am I making that you haven't seen lately? Well, <laughs> we are doing a make-along together on the live show that was um, a choose. Like, um, okay, so you had to send in a pattern that you liked. And I drew out of the group that sent in. There were 11 entries. And the one that I drew was Allison's, and she had a knit and a crochet slipper pattern. So if you are doing it, then you could choose from the knit or the crochet pattern. So that's what we're doing, like, like, um, like potluck. I like that wording. <laughs> we're doing potluck uh, make along. <laughs> okay, so. I decided to start the cloud slippers. By the way, you have two weeks to do one or both. You need to put your entries into the Facebook group post for the make-along. And um, only the ongoing make-alongs are in that featured. They're pinned to the featured. Uh, whatchamacallit. And so anyway, I'm doing, I'm, I'm attempting to do the cloud slippers which is the knitted ones. You can get the pattern on Ravelry. And um, in the Facebook group and down below, there will be a link to that. So this is written by... I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's by Lion Grand. I don't know. It doesn't say a name. Knit and Knot. So I'm guessing that's the name of the designer that did the pattern. Knit and knot. Okay. So it says to use one ball of Lion Brand Wool Ease Thick and Quick. So I pulled out something with that was five bulky. And it is a Charisma in the Northern Lights. So this was a yarn that we decided, or I guess I decided to pull out because somebody asked for a sapphire yarn and I pulled it out and I took a couple skeins out. So if you are doing this make on, you could win a skein of it plus another skein of cozy wool and a stitch marker which is a little mushroom. So that's the winning package for the make-along. And I'm using one of these. And it said to use um, US 15 10 millimeter needles. So look at the size of those suckers. US 15 10 millimeter. I've never used anything quite that big before, I don't think. Maybe a 9 millimeter, yes, but I don't think I used the 10. So I started my slipper. I think I did what I was supposed to do, but that's where how far I am. And mine's going to be stripey. Not a lot of stripey, but there's going to be color in mine. They're probably not going to match because <laughs> two uh, slippers and, the, you know, you'll start at different places in the yarn. So, yeah, I started it. <laughs> and I've never made a slipper before, so we will find out whether I even finish them. <laughs> no, I, I'll try. I will definitely try. I mean, that's what we're doing, right? We're doing something that someone else picked. Which is what, that's why it's fun. Because you're going to be doing something that you never tried before, I'm sure. If we do this again, then we'll have other patterns 
and there were quite a few that were sent in that I had never done, like the um, nubble chin, which is a little amigurumi, and then there were market bags and a couple other things, and, and I hadn't made them either. So, I tried. <laughs> um, what else are we doing? We're doing a summer stash swap that is with the girls or guys, whoever wants to join, that belong to the Facebook group. And what you need to do is you need to send me your, you need to make a commitment that you're going to send $20 uh, worth of clean um, yarn that is smoke-free, pet-free, pet hair-free, pet hair whatever, uh, that is new. It can be from your stash as long as it's clean. And you're going to send it by, send me your name and your address and your commitment to do this swap by May 15th. And then I'm going to pair up everybody and you'll have a couple weeks to talk between you and your partner and find out more things. Like maybe if you send me that you are allergic to something and that you prefer like favorite colors or something, I will put that in the email too. Um, but you can email me, you can messenger me. As long as you get it in by May 15th, I'll put you in the swap, the summer stash swap. And then in June, we'll send out our swaps. So that's going on. I have a mystery bag, and I got to tell you about this. <laughs> every time a crystal, well, not every time, but every now and again when crystal puts up something like a hand dyed yarn that she got from Daniel or mystery bag or boxes. A lot of times I'll go in and look and I will buy one. <laughs> well, she put it up and I went in and clicked on the Etsy shop and it said bag of day. So I clicked on mystery bag and I hit buy and it does it automatically, right? I don't know what the heck happened. I, well, I know, I think I know what happened. Bag of Day came up. I clicked mystery bag. At least I thought I did. And I don't know whether it was sold out and other mystery bags showed up underneath it or what the heck happened. But I did not get what I thought I had clicked on. I got something all right. <laughs> but... Let's see what it is because I haven't opened it. Um, how do I know it's not what I ordered? Because first of all, it is, let's see if I can, it is this big <laughs> and it was expensive. So I know it's not from Crystal. And then I looked at the address and it was from Florida. And then I'm like, well, that's not from Crystal. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what the heck is in here because I I I really haven't got any idea what it could possibly be. Okay, there's gray on top. So again, they they got me confused with Miss Stephanie. <laughs> this is gray. <laughs> but I don't know what kind of yarn it is because I can't I have never seen it before so let's see this is called thick have you ever seen that yarn before okay 100% acrylic 8 ply it's uh, 97 grams 139 yards and it, ooh, it's soft no halo no no it says it is a four medium and it's machine washable but lay flat to dry oh it's made in China all right so there is one of those and that's a hundred what did I say a hundred and mm, 139 yards <laughs> And now I can obviously see there is a second one. Yeah. These are really soft. 
They're thick though. Yeah, they are for a four. Okay, there is a, a invoice in here. Mystery bag. Tools and notions. I think this is... It's um, giving me a sample of other yarns I can pick from. Because it, it's a swatch on that. A little bit of yarn on that, on that page. And then on this page, that's uh, advertising... Um, Gucci.com, G-U-C-H-E-T, Gucci.com, 10% off your next order. And then this page gives you a color swatch, and there is a yarn sample on here as well. Antique gold colorway. That's really thin. This one is kind of like a nice yarn I've seen before. And the other one is like an embroidery floss. Oh, look. There's a little package in here. It's got one of those keychains with the little hooks on it. It has three hooks on it. You could use these for um, a keychain. Or you can use them to fix your knitting. There are three of these, uh, yeah, embroidery needles or darning needles. There are four stitch, five stitch markers in here. And there is a measuring tape, a folded one. So that's cute. That was in my mystery bag. Okay. What else? Okay, what is this? Ooh, it's really, really soft. Look at that color. It's deep, deep dark. What does it say? It only says one thing. Corin. <laughs> C-O-R-I-N. There looks to be four of them. Very, very dark purple. Just gorgeous. It's a three light. And really soft. Like almost silk. And it doesn't say anything but gouche. G-U-C-H-E-T. Other than the three light. What else do I have here? Oh, here we go. 142 yards. Well, that means that 284 and 284. My, that's that's a lot. I didn't think they'd have that much in them. But I but like I said I can't I can't see what it is. Wait a minute. It's just really, really light. Oh, it is. It's cashmere. It's, <laughs> I'm pretty good guesser, 60% silk, 30% cashmere, and 10% acrylic. I'm telling you what, that is soft. My nose is itching because I got a poofy on it. Okay, what else did I get in here? I got... A skein of this one. This is a two. Oh my gosh, that's just as soft and silky as the other one. This one says fifty grams on this one. It doesn't. It's a two fine, but it doesn't say. It says gouache yarns bamboo 139 70 percent bamboo and 30 percent cotton and that is soft made in china now what hand wash what would you do with something that was a two bamboo and cotton i might make a doily but i'll tell you it's i mean there's not a lot here now there is another one and this one is a light green so yeah I think we could make a doily out of this one. 
um, let me know what you would do. Now, are you keeping track of what's in here? Because um, you might be quizzed on it. <laughs> this is a three light, 43% polyester and 30, 57 acrylic. This one has 342 yards. This is from China, and this is called Mod. So, Gouche Yarns again. And this one's, like, really soft. But this one has a halo. <laughs> just a little bit. You know, just a little bit. Have you tried any of these yarns before? If you have, let me know. If you have not tried um, any of these, Gouche, G-U-C-H-E-T. Let me know in the comments which one you would like to try because I probably am going to uh, draw from the comments on this video so other people can try the Gouche yarn. I got it on Etsy. Accidentally bought it. So those are kind of cool whoever wins if whatever yarn you want to try and those are four there's four of them we've got the gray we've got the uh, the purple we have the greens and then we have the mod okay those are the four choices you will get this pack of um tools that she they sent all right so what else what else did I get in the mail? Uh, got my last Outlander club. This will be April 2022, and it is the last one for the year. I did it for a whole year. And I'm collecting up the greens, and I'm going to try and make a sweater. Oh, that really got me itching, whatever it was. I'm going to use the greens. Okay, perfect. I got a green one. Ooh. Oh, she sent a stitch marker with this one. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I thought that if you did the whole year that you got a special skein of yarn. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it's still coming. I don't know. But anyway, this one is... Let's see. Ye were not the first lass I kissed, he said softly. But I swear you'll be the last. <laughs> I can just picture him saying that. You were not. <laughs> All right. Wood Charm. It's by Lindsay Love Doll. And it's simply serving dot etsy dot com and there is uh outlander inspired do you see it it's uh you know you know what it is thank you so much for being a part of our outlander club for 12 months the lolo family Ah, so it's a, it's a progress keeper, and it has the, oh, what is it? The Firefly, no, not a Firefly. <laughs> I never can remember what it is. Anyway, you want to see the yarn anyway, right? I mean, this is real. This is the way I roll. I haven't got a clue what I'm doing, and you know what? <laughs> You're all my friends, my fellow creators here so you you understand <laughs> you put the camera on you can't remember shit and you drop everything on the floor just ask bev she'll tell you <laughs> okay so here's the color uh-huh uh-huh it's the tartan color oh my gosh it is you you'll be the last You'll be the last, and it's the last of the club. Isn't it gorgeous, the tones? Well, I have all of those greens from the last, like, six or seven months that are all going to be put into a sweater, and I'm going to gradient it down. I know I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Yep. 
I've decided now that I got another green one. So, all right. So I am so glad you joined me today. Look forward to a new bracket game. I'm going to do it. I just have to get the prizes all sorted together and get it out and put the board up. The board's the easy part. The prizes are another story. As soon as I do that, I will tape a video and I will get the game started. But for now, you have this one. <laughs> so take a moment out of each day and be creative. Talk to you later. Bye now.